Howdy folks from the front of Greenville Presbyterian Theological Seminary here in Taylor, South Carolina, where Cricket and I have spent the majority of our day. Uh, we attended their spring theology conference, uh, actually left this morning about 4.30, 4.45 a.m. just so we could get down here in time. I uh, got to tour the beautiful new facilities here. I uh, got to sit in on a class on New Testament Greek with Dr. Dyer, which was a whole bunch of fun. We really enjoyed that. Um, and then got to meet uh, the president here, Dr. Joseph Piper, who is a very, very gracious, very kind Christian brother, and we're very impressed with the work that the Lord is doing here through him and through the staff of Greenville Presbyterian Theological Seminary. Um, you know, I can remember being a fairly young man, uh, child really, uh, in the mid-80s in the Southern Baptist Convention, a church that, that was part of the SBC, and as the conservative resurgence was really just kind of starting to hit its stride, uh, all of the talk that went on in the Southern Baptist Convention about needing to retake the seminaries, uh, and that the theological education of the seminaries had become so unsound. Uh, of course, that was why R. Albert Mowler was brought in at uh, the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary in Louisville, Kentucky. And that ship has long since been righted. Dr. Moeller is a phenomenal seminary president. We're also very, very gracious to God for what he has done through Dr. Moeller there at Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. Which brings me to my point. The seminaries need our prayer. The seminary professors need our prayer. The seminary students need our prayer. Uh, this place is more really than anywhere else going to be responsible for the content of what is taught to the coming generation. Um, the gentlemen that are in seminary right now that are, are pursuing uh, God's call in their life to, to minister are being taught. And the seminary professors that are teaching them, if they are unsound or heterodox or God forgive or God forbid, I should say, apostate, then that's going to carry over into the lives of the students, which is then going to carry over into the pulpit, which is then going to carry over into the life of your church. So this place is hugely important. And we need to be begging God in prayer for the doctrinal fidelity of our seminaries. But it's not just for their doctrinal fidelity. We need to pray for their piety. We need to pray for their passion, not just for abstract facts or... Uh, philosophical meanderings uh, or the, the theological musings that goes on in the academy, these men that are being trained here need to be taught to throw themselves on the Word of God and throw themselves on God's grace. And by the grace of God, that is what's happening here at Greenville Presbyterian Theological Seminary. And I am pleased to say that we have been phenomenally well received here. Um, I have been treated incredibly kindly and graciously by all of the staff that we've met. I have been very impressed at this particular place's mixture of doctrine and piety, a uh, mixture of theology and heart, which is extremely important to me and should be extremely important to everyone because it's no good to us to have pastors that have brains that are the size of Texas but have shriveled, tiny, cold, dead little hearts. And I sincerely believe from what I've seen, at least in my limited amount of time here today, that the graduates of Greenville Presbyterian are not entering into the world with that kind of problem. So thank you to the staff of Greenville Presbyterian Theological Seminary. Thank you to the students and to the alumni that were here today that uh, were so kind and gracious to us. And uh, here's hoping that the next time that I'm standing in front of this building, it'll be to go to class as a student. Bye-bye.